I were continuing on in the present day. It looks like the the topic right now is Mizuki is going around to different locations, talking to people, and I guess we're going to see what they're like six years later. Uh, we got a glance at Kizuna at the end of last time, and uh, we saw we could see that what happened to her. Damn it! Damn it! I was so close to finally forgetting. <laughs> Dolly a boat, huh? Iba, please do your thing. Using this! Shoma's one-wheeled robot. That's right, the robot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, everyone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I want to meet someone? Obviously, the teacher calls for a battle royale. That's the only way to really meet someone. Involved to mommy. I got 1,000 eyeballs. All right, well, let's get a new one. What food do I like? Oh, let's try some bitter food. Cacao, huh? <clears throat> All right, so we see that Kizuna is in a wheelchair after the explosion ending. Kizzy's on an electric wheelchair. I get the feeling she's trying not to make eye contact. But something that's even more concerning is she has the anime braid. Oh, nothing in particular. I am just not feeling well today. And Leon was nice enough to invite me outside to get some fresh air. I thought Kizzy was feeling a little down. So I called her, and sure enough, I told her, let's go to your favorite place. You really understand her well, don't you? Are you spying on her with a wiretap or something? No, don't be ridiculous. It's true that maybe I've stolen some things in the past, but I've never stolen someone's privacy. Lien, uh, not looking any different six years later. I mean, he always looked kind of old, but I, we found that, like, when we first met him, we found that he was maybe younger than he looked. Like, was, wasn't he actually younger than Oda, I believe? But he doesn't look any different today. Do you know where Shoma is? I'm sorry, I don't know. Damn. Because we have to talk to him about his robot, his body-carrying robot. About the fountain. Hmm? Oh, I... I was just remembering about Big Sis. Isn't that Mizuki? Not referring to you, of course, but... Another Big Sis? Oh, the one you lived with from 9 to 15, right? Yes. I used to come here with her often. I think it was summer, when I was 10 years old. I accidentally got my clothes dirty. It was my father's favorite imported outfit. I was scared that I was going to get scolded harshly by my father. I tried so hard to come up with a lie. Who could I blame? And as I was thinking, she pushed me into the fountain. Well, that'll, that'll wash those clothes. She what? I was shocked, but then she jumped in after me. Let's do some laundry, she said. Oh, like washing your clothes by playing in the water. Yes, but she had another reason. As we splashed water on each other, I remember her saying, when you're feeling down, you should clean your heart. Huh. It was not only my clothes that needed cleaning, but also my heart. I was trying to find an excuse or come up with a lie that would have been caught right away. But she, well, instead of coming up with a lie, she turned it into the truth. She even went beyond that and made it into something fun. It is not good to worry about things, to come up with lies. That was what she was trying to say, I am sure. We went home together, soaking wet and laughing. Father laughed with us. Huh. I was just lost in that memory. How odd. I mean, actually, no, we, um, it was mentioned at some point in the game that uh, her father, there was like a missing child. I might assume we're talking about the big sis at this point. 
That really hasn't come up again. About the wheelchair. Hmm. Huh? What is it, Pixis? Well, uh... Oh, the wheelchair? You do not have to worry. I am used to it by now. Hmm. As you know, the injury I received to my spine six years ago caused my legs to stop working. I have been in a wheelchair ever since. As I know. I will not be able to dance anymore. Like I used to. Which is why she's so sad. She feels the urge to dance. But cannot. Dancing was the one thing that freed my heart. No more. But it would be inappropriate of me to complain. I was caught in an explosion. And yet, I survived. It is a miracle that I am still alive. To not appreciate that fact would be a sin. Kizzy. Huh. About... Six years ago. Six years ago? Big sis. Yep. I lost my left eye in the explosion. But I don't even worry about it anymore. Because, I mean, I have this new one. You've noticed my new eye, right? Do you, do they know what, what the eye is? Like, I, it, I don't... I don't think, like, people in general know about it. I mean, they're her friends, but I still don't think Mizuki would be able to just tell them what the eye is. I got a good partner. In my eye socket. Indeed. I mean, you've noticed my weird yellow eye, right? Oh, is that a false eye? You know, you're noticing it for the first time? Yeah, something like that. It talks to me. If anything, things have been even more lively for me. You're damn right. Oh, quiet. Oh, Lively, I see. Hmm. It's Lien. I first met him six years ago. He hasn't changed much. What are you doing here? You can't tell? Well, no, I mean, she she did explain what we're doing here. I'm asking because I can't tell. A young girl and a guy walking in a park together. Multi-level marketing scheme? It's a date! Also, MLMs are so outdated, Mizuki. It's all about NFTs today. This was a date? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, well, I guess it's not that formal. We just came here for a change of pace, for Kizzy. This is our favorite spot, you know? <laughs> We've been on a ton of dates here. It's practically our second home. Just a nice, relaxing spot for both of us. Y yeah sure Do you know where Shoma is? No, I haven't seen him. What happened? It's nothing. You don't need to worry about it. Uh, he might be an accessory to murder. I, it's, it's nothing, though. Oh, what, what trivia do we have? Of course. Oops. My feelings haven't changed a bit. Lan and Shoma became friends after the incident. If anything, they've gotten stronger. Six years ago. When I'm with Kizzy, my heart soars. Mizuki was the one who put them together. So high, I feel like I can burst through the stratosphere and beyond the galaxy. Shoma lost his father six years ago. Mizuki thought it would be a good idea, too. It's my dream to fly. I remember telling you. Introduce Lien to Shoma to cheer him up. Nowadays, it's like my dream comes true whenever I see Kizzy. They are almost like brothers, though it's hard. Wow. To be honest, you don't seem like the kind of guy who's into commitment. To tell who's the older one and who's the younger one. I am. And as more proof, I'm working as a locksmith. Kizzy said she doesn't like an unemployed man, after all. I want to make enough money to be able to support her. Hmm. Yeah, what about that whole uh, marriage thing, right? The buried the thing six years ago, it's six years later. How is that going? How's, what's going on with that? Also, yes, the uh, the text crawl at the top did remind me that we're on a timeline where uh, Kameji died. Of course, in the Kameji and Shoma ending, he was not. He was alive at the end of that. But the explosion timeline is the one that happened, and Kameji was bisected in that one. So I guess in this timeline, Kameji and Shoma never came to accept his own feelings and came to accept Komeji as a as a good father. So none of that really happened. 
But somehow, um, Ryuki does know the name Dahlia, which only was revealed in the Komeji and Shoma ending. How does he know that? About six years ago. Huh. Sorry. I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. I need to head home soon. Huh? Already? We just got here. I remembered that I have to do something. Aw. Kizzy, what's wrong? W why do you ask? It seems like you're worked up about something. I believe you are mistaken. I can't seem to demonstrate emotions, really. Oh. Wait. Is it my fault? What? Do you not like being with me? Do you not like being seen with me? Well, I, 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 I kind of... Is that not how you feel about me? What? What do you mean? I am sure you know what I mean. No, I don't! What are you saying? Uh. Mizuki, you were right. Kizuna is acting strange. Why not wink sync with her? Yeah, let's get into that brain. Uh. Huh. Ha. I know. Lian, you are only with me because you feel guilty. Your supposed feelings for me are just a farce. In truth, I feel nothing but guilt inside. Guilt for what happened six years ago. Needless to say, you did nothing wrong, Lian. But that is not how you see it. You believe it is your fault for how I ended up. That is why you stayed by my side. I am just a burden. Please, just leave me. I do not want to be the reason you ruined your life. Uh, it sounds like someone needs to get put in the chair. She is assuming Leon's feelings come from a place of pity. Hmm. What is it? Can I wink sink into Leon too? Consecutively? The battery usage is quite high. I could use a recharge. I have low power. Come on, you can spare it. Don't treat me like your allowance. Can you please? I want to know Leanne's true feelings. Hmm, I suppose. I will make an exception and use the emergency backup battery. Didn't Leanne say that the only thing he's never stolen is privacy? Looks like we don't have a problem with that. I'm sorry. Kizzy. I couldn't save you. I couldn't protect you. And because of that, you're... But that doesn't change how I feel about you. I love you. From the bottom of my heart. I don't care about appearances. I don't care what happens. You. And I. Forever. Forever. Eternally. Oh. Mm. They really do care about each other. We need to tell them about how the other really feels. We need to make them kiss. How? Put them in the chair at the same time. Hey, I just read both your minds. And guess what? Is that what you want to say? Uh, didn't think about it like that. Not to mention, it is tactless to wedge yourself into other people's romances. It kind of is. I mean, this isn't our job. This needs to be solved between them. Hmm. But poking into people's business is what Abyss does. Iva, how old are you now? I am turning 12 this year. So that's like 65 in human years. I'm not a dog. I, I, I think it actually does kind of work that way. Anyway, I need to be going. Leon, thank you for today. But please, you do not need to care about me anymore. But... Kizzy... There she goes. Unfortunate, but we are not relationship therapists. 
you, I could, you could be excused for thinking that maybe we are. We have another job to do. Which is apparently solving a murder, which comes up sometimes. Find Shoma. Lan first met him six years ago. He hasn't changed much. But has Shoma changed much? Well, we could go to the end of... I mean, I doubt he would just be at his home. It would be too easy. But maybe the robot's here. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Hey, Mizuki. What are you doing in the Kotatsu? It's warm. Kotatsus are perfect on a cold day. They make you really sleepy. You do realize this is breaking and entering. We're the cops. We, it's not breaking and entering when we do it. It's fine. It's fine. When I was here before, Shoma said I could just come in any time. I believe that kind of sentimentality has worn off in the modern age. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let us search. Yep, let's rifle through his private things. Yeah, let's look for oranges. What? No, the one-wheeled robot. That's right. We need to check if it was Shoma's robot that carried the corpse. All right, well, it was in here. No one-wheeled robot in here. Mm, it's not there now. It was in here before. Hmm. The closet. All right, question time. I love questions. A lion is tied up on a ten-foot chain. Mm-hmm. What is the area of grass the lion would eat? Oh no, math! Let me think. Approximately 314 square feet. Fortunately, Iba's handling this. Oh no! The answer is zero square feet. Oh, because the lion wouldn't eat the grass. Mizuki getting Iba. Got her! Lions don't eat grass. But Lian eats grass sometimes. Does he? What kind of little kid logic is that? Wait, does he? I mean, that's a little concerning. It's the answer button for the quiz. Book. On robotics engineering. Machine part. The Katatsu. Oh, maybe the robot's under it. Hey, Herb, don't look. Who are you talking to? You're the one who peeped. Eh. TV remote. The Katats. Show him his toolbox. No oranges in there. Could it be hidden in here? It doesn't seem it looks like there's enough room. It wouldn't fit. No. We couldn't find the robot anywhere. We looked in like five places. And no other leads. Yeah, no oranges either. Who cares about the oranges? Hmm. In any case, we have no time to waste. Let's head elsewhere. But it's so cold outside. You're the one who picked that outfit. Hmm. <sighs> well, you, mean you gotta look good, Iba. T comfort takes second place. Let's get going. Any day now. Oh, hold on, hold on. Very important, very important. Oh no, it's not available yet? Alright, why did I get a notification? How odd. Hey, my name is Penny Ben. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Penny Ben. This thing talks. Strange name, too. Talking doll Penny Ben. Dresser. I finally found it! That must be the one wheeled robot we were looking for! It has two legs. Maybe it's like a transformer. It can transform to a one-wheeled form. Mizuki thinks the protrusion is cute, and we still don't know what that is. Oh, it's a picture of Mizuki. <laughs> you... It's a lucky face. There's a picture of Ame no Uzume on display. It's said that she danced with her bare breasts swinging about to entrance Amaterasu. I've heard that. Aiba, you should try it. 
Why would I do that? Hmm. No. I guess you don't have a whole lot to swing. You don't either. Your new in a garden can be seen out the window. A one-wheeled robot wouldn't fit in here. Squeaky toy hammer. Folding fan. It's Adder Rooster! He's the manager at the fried chicken shop that Adder works at. That is a peculiar situation. I see that Mizuki is familiar with the Adder Rabbit extended lore. It's not a rooster doll. People say that the Adder Rabbit franchise went downhill once they started introducing the friends. It's a broom. Kitchen. Fridge. Alright, I guess we should go. Let's head to Gen's place. Oh, Mame? She is still having a... She still got the trauma, you know? The can't talk trauma? Mizuki, what are you doing here? No, no, she can talk. Have you seen Shoma? No, I haven't seen him here. What about you, Ginny? I haven't seen him recently. I see. Hmm. Huh? Well, hold on, maybe now. What do I think of eyeballs? They're pretty. It's Mame. She seems kind of upset. Are you okay? I'm not feeling well, but I'm just tired. Don't worry. I can relate. You should go home and rest. That's what I said. Thank you for your concern, but I'd rather rest here. I don't want to be alone. Is something bothering you? Yeah, a little bit. Have you heard about the disappearances that have been happening lately? Uh, disappearance is still happening, huh? Do we have... Are the analog horror videos still getting posted? Hmm? I know it's just a rumor, but... People going missing after watching a ViewCube video. Ah, uh, those videos. Don't watch them. People have been vanishing for six years after watching these videos. It's the same as the urban legend from six years ago. But it's different this time. I think it's actually happening. I was able to find the video. Do you want to watch it? Mm -hmm. hmm. Not right now. Now's not the time. Well, hopefully Mizuki doesn't freak out after watching it. I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Something bigger? Like what? Hmm. Nirvana Initiative. What? It's just something I saw online. Some kind of terrorist attack or something being planned. What do you think, Aiba? There are rumors to that effect, but nothing concrete. I do not have enough data to make a determination yet. Anyway, that's what's got me scared. It's kind of creepy. You know where Shoma is? Mm. No. Why do you ask? I wanted to ask him something. About a murder and his robot might be involved? Something happened? Murder? I saw on the news that a corpse was found at the stadium. Half of one, yes. Something related to that? Very related to it. Actually, yeah. Mame, why are you here? Well, because uh, I guess I didn't need to ask. You come here a lot, Mame. Yeah. It's calming being here. I would have preferred you said you liked the food. Of course I like the food, too. But I like the atmosphere. And how you fit right in, Genny. It's really calming. It's my favorite place. Come to think of it, you come here to quiz me an awful lot. And sometimes you leave without even eating anything. Well, you're the only one that likes my quizzes, Genny. When I ask Mizuki, she gets this look on her face. <laughs> well, I mean, also, if I get if if Mizuki gets stumped on a quiz, she can just ask her eyeball. So it's kind of unfair. Why do you not like quizzes? Mame's questions are really niche. Like, what? Where is the Statue of Liberty? 
Actually, maybe we should get to ask that question again to see if the answer is still the same six years later. Or are we in a parallel universe? Do they bother you, Genny? As long as it doesn't get in the way of work, I don't mind. It's nice seeing you two together. You're almost like father and daughter. Do we know how old Gen is? Hmm. <laughs> I guess Amame is like my daughter. I forget if we know. Maybe Mame has a father complex? Look, I... I don't, I don't think that's a thing that we should just throw out there, but sure. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, it just reminded me of my dad. Right, your parents. They divorced when I was little, so I've been separated from my dad. I really liked him, so I was really sad. You really like your dad, huh? Yeah, he's the best. My parents are dead. Again. And he's in the kitchen preparing food. I'll come here eat here soon. Yeah, please do. You haven't been in a while. Sorry, I've been busy with work. Both my jobs, being an abyss agent and running Lemniscate. How do how does she do both of these things at once? Mommy has been inviting me, but Actually, you were the one who introduced me to this place, right, Mame? Yeah. Was it six years ago? Six years ago. I remember when I ate Genny's food for the first time. I was shocked by how good it was. It was the first time I felt that way since eating Ota's food. Is that how Ota looks now? What's with the lion's mane he's got going on? Did he take his cap off and all that just came- all that just poofed out? Do you like his very large A set badge, though? Mizuki, don't talk about Ota here. We do not mention him here. Why not? He's a rival. We must. He again has to defeat Ota on the field of restaurant battle. Where were you last night? Last night? I was here last night. The only person I saw was a drunk, passed out Ryuki. What were you doing leaving your place unattended? I think that was when I went to the convenience store to get some miso. I have tons of regulars. Sometimes I have them watch the place for me. I see. Ryuki was saying something about traveling to the mirror world, so I thought something happened. Sounds like something a drunkard would say to me. The customer next to Ryuki was saying some weird things, too. Oh. When that king over there awakens, I'm going to disappear like a candle. I'm not real, I'm just something that shows up in the king's dream. That sounds like a reference to Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There by Lewis Carroll. The story deals with themes of not being able to tell reality from illusion, mirror worlds and the like. The customer ran off spouting that gibberish. I had to run after him to get him to pay for the food. I thought you said you trusted your customers. That guy wasn't a regular. When I grabbed him and got back, Yuki was gone. Huh. I thought you said you went to go buy miso. Oh, that's right. I guess I went to the convenience store before that. I guess yesterday was pretty hectic, huh? Yeah. A lot of stuff happened in last night. Do you know where Shoma is? Sorry, I haven't the slightest idea. He hasn't been here, and I haven't talked to him at all. How is he related to the incident at the stadium? It's confidential, I can't tell you that. Hmm. I'm heading home now. Mame, you really don't look too good. Want me to take you to the hospital? It's okay, I just need some rest. Mame, you can rest in the back if you want. Yeah. I might do just that. Mame, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Guess we'll take her word for it. Mizuki, we're in the middle of an investigation. We should leave this to Gen. Okay. Genny, please take care of Mame. Yeah, no problem. Alright, well, the kitchen. The menu. Alcohol bottles. Blackboard menu. Ganesha. I 
guess you might say there's an elephant in the room. Very good, yes. Wow, that was remarkably unfunny. The table. Mizuki, look, it's a Hispella Testacea. Yay! Go, little Hispella Testacea. She does like the bugs. It's just a round stool. Hey, Iba, can you do that thing? <sighs> Fine, but just once, okay? Mm-hmm. Hello, I'm Drum Imon. Mm? I see. What's with that weak reaction? It's an oil drum. Posters. And door. Uh, that might be everything. All right, you can see where we're going next. Let's uh, let's have the chat with the older and more mature Oda. Oh yeah, look at that. I haven't seen him. What about you, Ota? No, I haven't seen him either. Shoma always comes in alone, and he usually leaves without saying anything. I see. Do you think Shoma saw that video too? If he did, it wouldn't be good. Video? There's a new one, I guess. Let's see. Odin knows Shoma too. Iris introduced them to each other. All right, Oda. He looks so young, nowhere near 30. It's true, he looks a little older, but that's just because he's not dressed quite as much as a Pokemon trainer anymore. Still a little bit. As anyone can see, he's still a big fan of A-Set. He needs a haircut, though. He just doesn't have the time for it, running this uh, restaurant by himself. Wink sink. Eggplant, eggplant, I love eggplant. I love eggplant. Mapo, Mapo. I love tofu. He's got his mind on work. You're not gonna cut your hair? I've been busy. I haven't had a chance to cut it. You're really busy, huh? Want me to cut it? Snip, 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 snip. That's what scissors sound like they do. How long is this gonna take? Really? You'll cut my hair? Hmm. Well, I think I'll save that experience for later. I want to grow it out longer so I have as much haircut time with Tessa as humanly possible. That's right, you gotta drag it out. Longer hair does not take longer to cut. Ota, if you're gonna head this restaurant, you should care more about how you look. Hey, that's actually what Gen from Brahmin said too. Maybe Ota should wear a mask. But it's not like spending more time on my appearance is gonna make my food taste better. Besides, I get plenty of customers. This place is poppin'. Well, yeah, with my cooking skills, that's to be expected. Is it poppin'? Doesn't seem like anyone else is here. I think history will call me the chef blessed by the culinary gods. Okay, but the only customer here is Iris, though. Because I'm on break. Didn't you see the sign? During regular business hours, I don't have time for breaks. Ota is not exactly exaggerating. Matsushita Diner offers affordable, tasty food. Cues often form out the door. Wow, is o Oda actually a success? So it actually gets pretty crowded, huh? Yeah, and I welcome the challenge. But does this mean he had to give up his dream of writing light novels? Because where would he find the time? I don't want to lose to get. Why are you two competing anyway? He talks about me like some kind of mortal enemy or something. I hear him talking trash about me. He does talk trash, yes. He says I'm not dedicated to my cooking, not determined to be the best. But I want to prove to him that I'm better, 
and I do it my way. Just you watch. I'm gonna make Matsushita Diner super popular. I'll have three Michelin stars one day. That's ambitious. You don't look 30. You think so? I have been making some progress lately. You trying to grow some facial hair? I've gained a lot of life experience. I'm a refined adult now. Well, okay, okay, a little, maybe a little bit more, a little bit more refined, maybe a little bit. I don't know about experience, but you did change up your look. If there was a contest for adults who don't look or act their age, you'd do well. So you're saying I look really young. That's a compliment. Young? Don't you mean more like childish? Oh, stop, Tessa, you're embarrassing me. She means that I'm as cute and pure as a child in the prime of their youth. I don't think that's what she meant. I suppose his positive thinking is what allows him to retain his youth. Hey, you gotta think positively. You're still Iris's fan, right? Of course. I'm still Tessa's number one fan, after all. It's my duty to support her. I name search her on Twitter and defend her to anyone talking trash. Yeah, yeah, remember that. Use multiple accounts so she can rise to the top of trending. I am devoted day and night. Okay, so his side job of monitoring Twitter activity and arguing with himself about Iris, that he still does that. He is dedicated to that. Thank you for everything you do, Oda. Iris, you really shouldn't be adding more fuel to the fire here. Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Freight, crate. Tessa! Airplanes! Hide, flight, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASAT! You bet! <sighs> Never really got why she has two streamer names. Like her name is Iris, and she was streaming under ASAT, but her fans call her Tessa. Now it sounds like Tessa is the main, her main streamer name. Uh, Oda. About the video. Mizuki, do you know about the video uploaded to ViewCube? We heard about it. Mame told me there was some rumor about a video making people vanish after they watch it. That's the one. Do you think Shoma saw that video too? He could have. Because it was Shoma who solved the BATS 490 code six years ago. Is there a code hidden in the new video too? Yeah, a much tougher one than the last. I've been trying to figure it out, but I've got nothing. I've been thinking about how and why exactly the people who watch the video end up missing. My guess is the people who solve it end up mind-controlled. Like Project Bluebeam or MKUltra. Uh, well, considering what we've seen happening to Ryuki, I guess it's maybe not that far off. What's Project Bluebeam? It's a project by NASA that projects lasers and holograms into the atmosphere. Right, yeah, let's get into it. Let's let's get deep into the weeds on this. They say it's for investigating the atmosphere and ionosphere. They say that's what it's for, but we know the truth. Tell me what it's really for, Oda. But in reality, it's a scheme to take over the world. Exactly. NASA and their ambitions for world domination. The idea is they can project images of aliens, UFOs, God, anything they want. They could put anything up there. It tricks the people of Earth into thinking the planet is being invaded or something. Those bastards. They read Watchmen. That way, they can unite the world under the false pretense of fighting back against a foreign threat. We all know that's exactly what would happen. It gets the people of the world to abandon their allegiances to religion or any one nation and instead unify under a new world order. Look, we all know if presented with a global crisis, everyone would put aside their differences and team up and work together. It's been proven. So this video is kind of the same idea. Project an image into your mind that makes you think a certain way. What about that other one, MK Ultra? MK Ultra is the code name for a top secret project that the CIA was running tested different kinds of mind control. Their so-called experiments were inhumane, even torturous, all to try to prove mind control exists. They forced unsuspecting patients to take LSD, and did electroshock therapy, hypnosis, and the results of their experiments were 
were all destroyed. So no one knows anything for sure. <laughs> His hair annoys me. I guess that's the end of that conversation. Iris. It's Iris. She's matured a lot. Well, I mean, she's not wearing the ears anymore. That's kind of the biggest difference here. She's 24 now. About the video. Ota, you know about the video, right? I hope Shoma is okay. Anyway, don't watch that video again. Consider it an order from the president of Lemnisgate. If those rumors are true, it could be dangerous. Understand? Yes, ma'am. You think she really understands? I do not believe there is any point in asking. You've matured. <laughs> Thank you. You're a super popular internet idol at Lemnisgate. Wow, did, did Iris make it? Did her viewer count go up? Oh no, I'm not really that big a deal. Did she ever come up with a new song and dance, or does she still do the same one? Not to mention there's a ton of new talent. If I take my eyes off my dream for even one second, they'll pass me by. I know, there's always new people coming about, and they're all a threat. It's pretty cool that you haven't let fame get to you. And you're still serious about chasing your dream, Iris. Well, things are different now. I'm not a teenager. I can't rely on my youth or make cringy comments anymore. Yeah, we're older, we're more mature, more responsible. Gotta act our age. I need to work hard and prepare for the winter. Like the ant and the grasshopper. The winter? I've gotta leave my mark on the net world. I really want to. Chug Jug with you. And that is not your song, Iris. Do not plagiarize. I would classify that as cringe. <laughs> Don't worry, Iris. It's part of your charm. Iva, can you show me the video? Yeah, let's just watch it here. I have already found it. It is posted to ViewCube under the name Nirvana Trial. Nirvana? Can you play it? At once. You'd think six years later, they'd be able to come up with some new material for their ViewCube channel. They're still relying on the old hits, though. But there is a high likelihood that this is related to the HB case. Did you notice the similarities? The code that Shoma decoded, that's 490. And the QR video. Yes, the video from six years ago linked to Jin Furaway from our investigation just be a coincidence. The rumors about the missing people must have something to do with the HB case for sure. Yes. We do not know for certain if Shoma saw the Nirvana trial video, but it is all the more reason to find him as soon as possible. Hey, Mizuki. Are you okay? Yeah, I was watching a, a YouTube video in my head. Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. You were pretty spaced out there for a while. I was not spaced out. I was watch I was watching a video. It was being play it was being played directly in my brain. I'm fine. I'm going to head out and look for Shoma. Let me know if you find anything. Yeah. Got it. Well, oh, hold on. How do I like my engine to be supplied air? NA. No air. Well, Mizuki did not freak out upon watching the video. So it looks like the freaking out, I guess, is exclusive to Ryuki. Hey, about the incident from six years ago. Six years ago? From Divida? 
yeah, do you remember? That's not something I can just forget. I saw half a body appear out of nowhere. I saw it explode and... It was pretty badass. Why are you asking me about it now? Well, here's the thing. What if the other half of the body showed up? It must have teleported. That's right. It got stuck in another dimension and half the body got sucked in. I agree. The body got sliced in half, then time traveled six years to now. It's the most likely explanation. Jeez, bodies cut in half, blowing up, showing up out of nowhere. How do you explain it if it's not paranormal? It is looking paranormal so far. Mizuki has no explanation. If I may, the questions of how the body appeared and how it detonated were answered by subsequent investigation. Yes, but not the part about how was it cut in half and how the two parts of the body showed up at different times, Aiba. The carbon nanotubes and a thermite reaction. Right, but that doesn't explain how the other half of the body showed up. That strange occurrence can't be explained by science alone. Scientists are baffled! What I think happened is... Something like the Bermuda Triangle manifested here. Yeah, like a small one. Jin Furaway just happened to be walking through it. Bermuda Triangle. On the east coast of North America. Uh-huh. In the Atlantic Ocean, there's a spot called the Bermuda Triangle. Tell me about it. Tons of ships and planes and stuff have vanished without a trace there. There's a bunch of theories, but no one can really explain the how and why. Some people think it's a miniature black hole. Others think aliens abducted them. Everyone thinks one of these two things. You're either on Team Black Hole or Team Aliens. There's even one story about a corpse that was found in the area. He died 64 years ago, but the body didn't age a day. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, given Iris's enthusiasm for the topic, but the Bermuda Triangle is an urban legend. The kind of examples she mentioned are usually misunderstandings, exaggerations, or completely fabricated. In other words, the mysterious aspects of the Bermuda Triangle are entirely man-made. You're saying that in the Bermuda Triangle, there's a man-made black hole? Aye, but this is huge. According to calculations, the probability of a vessel going missing in that area is no different than any other place. What if the supernatural... Uh, at vibes. The supernatural vibes of the Bermuda Triangle are affecting even math itself. Statistics are being affected by the vibes. I don't want to spoil her fun. I'm not going to tell her. 24-year-old 20, 20, Iris. Unfortunately, we cannot ask her what happened to the ears. Where did the ears go? She's not wearing them. The ears were removed. Because she's an adult now. Gotta act her age. Strips of paper with the menu. Kitchen. Photo. Counter. Hey, Ota. What's Ota's black sauce? I'm almost afraid to ask. It's our house special soy sauce. What's special about it? No, what's special about it, Ota? I guess we're not going to find out. Menu on the table. Ota, what's chef's bloody salad? Oh, it's this dish I make by wrapping myself up in barbed wire. That's a delicacy. How is this place still open? One would hope it at least tastes good. You gotta pay to get that one. Menu on the table. Chopsticks. Look, if you want... Look, they say that when a chef makes something, a little bit of the chef is in the meal. So, I mean, if you really want to get that experience, you need Oda to bleed in your salad. Then you get you really get the, the Matashita flavor in your salad. Hmm. I am much bigger. You mean your attitude? No. Beer poster. Mizuki, look! A round chair. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a chair and it's round. Oh. 
Mizuki, the gray aliens have a morning stretch routine video. Wanna watch? I guess we might as well. Oh, I saw that earlier. You did? I think I'll pass. Might be re related to the case. Meow. Oh, I get it. If you meow at a lucky cat statue, happiness will come your way. It sure helped me be happy. Iris does seem happy all the time. Tessa, maybe if you wanted to change the overhead lights. Oda's still going for it six years later. Why would I want to do that? 20 years from now, he's still going to be saying, Hey, Tessa, the lights, they need to be changed. Well, that might be everything. All right. Next stop is Central Hospital. Well, now we know the status of Ota and Iris six years later, how they've matured. Sorry to bother you at work. You're Jin Furoe's... Yes. I was his nurse when Ginny was here. Ginny? I call him Ginny because... He was still in his late teens when he was here. Of course, he grew up. He was a very important man. Then he became two halves of a very important man. But to me, he's still that little kid. Wink sink. I've had enough with marriages. It's really a hassle to build up a relationship. Isn't it though? I'm too busy. And I'm almost 40. Wow, she looks nothing close to 40. Especially in anime years. She does look young for her age. It's a nurse. What's your name? My name is Hana Yonasu. Has this happened before? Hmm, I don't know. I'm bad at remembering things. They call me an airhead, even though I'm a lifesaver. When we say, has this happened before, what exactly are we talking about? Are we talking about, like, a half of a dead body showing up six years later? Do you have any skills? I can get them in in the tightest spots. I'm sorry? The needle? No, I'm talking about cars. Oh, she's a valet. You're talking about parking? There's, like, compare there's like an overlapping skill set between a valet and a, and a nurse. Let's talk about Jin. I remember Jinny well. I heard he was born kind of frail, and he'd been in and out of the hospital since he was young. Right, his mysterious disease. You heard? Yes. As I said earlier, I was only his nurse when he was in his late teens. What kind of illness did he have? Mysterious illness, Mizuki. It was a visceral disease. We're not going to name it. Though by the time he passed, he was completely cured. I cannot search anything on Jin's illness. I mean, well, yeah, you don't know what it's called. Those records have been completely wiped. Could forbidden science have cured his disease? About Jin. I never thought he'd get so big. When I first saw him in the magazines, me and some older nurses that knew him were really surprised. When he was a kid, he was shy and really timid. He couldn't even use the restroom alone at night. He was so soft-spoken. I never thought he'd become so successful and become the president at a big company. But he was killed. Hmm. About Jin, again. That's about it, though. I haven't seen him since he left the hospital. Anything you noticed about him seeing him from afar? Well, let's see. He'd really changed. Did he almost look like a different person? Are you suspecting a change in identity? Yeah, we can cross off twin or clone, but maybe he was replaced by someone else. No, I'm sure it was him. I only saw him in pictures and read about him, but he was a neat freak. Very meticulous. I could sense it in his words. I'm positive it was him. Yeah, there was uh, something that came up early in the game about how he wasn't seen in public at all, really. The only thing that was seen of him were, were photos. 
So if you saw if someone saw him, would they know for sure if it's actually him? Of course, we all know the truth that he cured his anime disease by uh, splicing his DNA with those of vampire bats, and that it was a whole thing. It's a whole thing. They made a movie about it. Let's go to Seki Bahai. Ryuki, what are you doing here? Oh, Mizuki. Isn't it obvious? I'm here for the reinvestigation. Reinvestigation? Still thinking about those anal fissures? Let's find out. Uh, 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 Wait, is this in my brain? Ryuki. I cannot determine anything from him when he is in this state. And by this state, I mean Ryuki's normal state. Ryuki, it doesn't look like he's been drinking lately, but he doesn't look normal. His eyes are dead. Are we investigating what? The investigation has only just begun. I need to keep my eyes wide open. I need to see the pieces. Lost beyond time. This is my case. But, Ryuki, you're... Hold on, Mizuki. Ryuki is not well. He is traumatized. Boy, is he! But in these circumstances, it is better to not push back against things he says. You may inadvertently make his condition worse by denying his delusions. Really? Yes. It is common practice for patients in Ryuki's condition. Okay, Ryuki. Just don't do too much, okay? Uh, are you okay? Okay. Yeah, you look tired. You should go home and rest. I don't have time to rest. I need to find the culprit. Besides, I had Tama tie me up tortoise shell bondage style earlier, so I'm feeling good. Well, I mean, that'll do it. That'll get you going for the rest of the day. Uh, yeah, you should definitely just head home. It's all right now, because I am here. Half might! <laughs> Half for all! We are full-time heroes! Uh. I can do anything. I'm like a superhero. I won't lose to the bad guys. And if anyone gets in my way... Let it be. He is not capable of participating in normal conversation. He's especially bad today. It must be because he's sober. Oh, I know. Uh-huh? The shrine. Ikume Shrine. I'll go there. He loves that place. It'll help me calm down. Hmm. Off he goes. There he goes. There is nothing we can do for him. It is best to let him be. Ryuki was traumatized by the events six years ago and has been hurting ever since. He tried to return to work, but his symptoms worsened. Yeah, he's supposed to be on leave of absence to get better, but... His symptoms have not improved. Hmm... Anyway, there are no leads here. Let's get going. Alright, well at least we had a little chat with Ryuki. But we have not find, found any leads on Shoma, so now what? We continue to search for Shoma, but... Oh, is Aiba, like, recharging in the thing? Because that's what she would do in Date's car. Maybe the video really did make him go missing. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, there she is. Mizuki, you have a call. I will connect you. Hey, Mizuki, I remembered something about Shoma. Oh? There's this place I hear he's been going to a lot. Horidori Institute of Genetics. Mm-hmm. Huh? What's he going there for? I haven't asked. Horidori Institute. I don't know why, but I guess he might be there. Thanks, Gen. I'll head over there. Be careful.
We haven't we haven't been there for a bit. There's supposed to be a secret room, remember that? We never found out what that secret room was about. Showed my police badge and showed him his picture when asking around, but never seen that kid here. But I didn't miss it. For a split second, the security guard's cha expression changed when I showed the picture. Gotta use the thermo, just in case. There it is. His temperature is rising. He is lying. In that case, we'll have to... Well, we can't put him in the chair. He doesn't even have a portrait. He's not important enough for the chair. Okay, we just walked in. Well, we made it inside, at least. But where's Shoma? Mizuki, I must protest against you doing anything rash. Boss will never let you hear the end of this. What are you talking about? You punched the security guard unconscious to get him out of the way. That's Mizuki's... That's how she does things. I didn't punch him. Look, you know, you've heard the expression when the only tool you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Well, when you have super strength, you know, you can go from there. It was more of a kick. Same difference. Well, sorry, I'm not very good at covert ops, okay? Mizuki, this is a sneaking mission. Anyway, I got this weird feeling. My gut is telling me that Shoma is caught up in some bizarre science experiment. Your gut is not a reliable source of information. This facility goes deeper. Shall we go? Of course. I can't go back now. I mean, we're here. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? A scientist. That we all know they're up to no good. Crap, they saw me. Are we, are we breaking out into a martial arts fight? You need to be more careful. Intruder. We're going to police. I am the police. Yeah, the police are right here. In your dreams, girl. Let's get her. Okay, a martial arts fight is breaking out. Yeah. Mizuki. Well, if I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Mizuki, do not use your full power. We are in the wrong here, you know. Yeah, yeah, got it. More guards! But superior numbers aren't gonna do them any good. Uh, okay, maybe they will. Five seconds later. That's the last of them. That was dangerous. Thank you. Wait, what are you doing here? And why did you help me? Should I not have? You know that's not what I mean. Why are you here? I don't follow. You shot at me yesterday. Oh yeah, that's true. I mean, that was at the beginning of the game. But it was yesterday. That was yesterday. Today is today. I guess that solves that. What? Anyway, do you hear that? Hear what? What? Oh, hey, Kizzy. Um... What is going on here? Just beating up some scientists, you know. To the par- to the park, I guess. I mean, we we went there to look around. I guess we're not, I guess we're not looking around. Ugh. We should be far enough away now. Indeed, I do not sense any pursuers nearby. Now, 
You two. Let's talk. Mm hmm. Huh. Hold on. I have a very important, very important call. If an old guy attacks, um, hit, hit the old person in the temple. Just crack their head. Okay, so the most important question... Have you been... Have you had that mask glued to your face for six years? It sounds annoying. There's a woman with a weird mask. She looks so suspicious. Will they report me? Concerned about what happened at the Institute earlier? Don't worry about it. They won't report it. Why not? For two reasons. First, the weapons they had are illegal. If those firearms are discovered, that could cause the facilities to be closed. It is a little strange that they were all armed with laser rifles, yes. What's the other reason? They are doing some questionable research. They wouldn't want the police anywhere near. I see. Whew. I'm glad, though. It seems you are safe this time. If Boss found out, she may have cut you in half herself. Why were you at Horadori Institute? I was investigating. Investigating? Are you some kind of detective or something? Yes. Something like that. You know about the gene therapy research they're doing there. Don't you? Yes, of course I do. Yeah. I don't totally understand it, but it's something about rewriting DNA, right? I heard that they're doing illegal things there. Illegal things? I wanted to know about the dark side of their research myself. So that is why I'm investigating them. I want to know who did this to me. Did what to you? Glued this mask to her face, clearly. Uh-huh. Fine. If you don't want to give me the details, at least tell me this. They're doing shady things in there, and you want to find out what, right? That's right. What have you found so far? I can't talk about it. Why not? It's top secret. Top secret? But it could have something to do with my investigation. I wouldn't know. Hey, Iba, can we sink into her? I wouldn't even try. There is no way you would get Boss's permission. I want to invade her privacy! <sighs> yeah. But I can tell you this. It's about Tokiko Shigure. Oh, how, how, yeah, how, what about Tokiko? Is she, is she still dead? She said she would be able to resurrect herself if she died. But that was six years ago. Tokiko Shigure? The president of Nice? Always throwing up the pretzel sign. That's right. President of Horidori Institute, Chikara, was a senior member of NISE. 37 years ago, when Tokiko was 23, she became pregnant with his child. Yeah, but we were told this, yes. What? Well, Mizuki doesn't know. Chikara didn't want anything to do with it. He already had a wife and child. He demanded she get an abortion, but she refused. She gave birth to the child. At the time, she had no immediate family and no money. Chikara was terrified. He was worried that the child might grow up to resent him and threaten him with blackmail. It happens kind of a bit in these games, yeah. So he came up with a plan to have them adopted to one of his friends. To persuade Tokiko, he promised her prestige and power at Nice, That she would one day be president. Through tears, Tokiko reluctantly accepted and let the child go. Tokiko lost her child, but she did become a powerful member of NISE. Ultimately, she became the president of the Japan branch. Hmm. Whoever that child grew up to be, whoever it is, they could be linked to all this. You're saying they could be terror? That's not possible. Why not? They've already passed. Really? It is a certainty. Hmm. Why did you shoot at me last night? I felt like it. Who just feels like shooting at a high school girl? I don't think the high school part is relevant. I almost died. No, that would be impossible. 
I shot you with rubber bullets. You didn't notice? Rubber bullets can do some damage, though. Hmm. You mean... I had no intention of killing you. Then why did you shoot me? Just... trust me. Look, I just... I needed to shoot you. I think that we can just all agree that Mizuki needed some shooting. I'm not your enemy. Hmm. Take off that mask. Why? I want to see your face. I refuse. You want me to trust you? Then show me your face. Sorry, I don't have my makeup on right now. Ugh. And I have a big pimple on my nose as well. It's embarrassing. Well, yeah, you wouldn't want you wouldn't want people to see the pimple. Then I'll just force you to take it off. Don't bother trying. This mask is secured in place by an extremely powerful special adhesive developed by NASA. Yeah, well, we remember. We remember the, the NASA glue. If you tried, it would rip my skin off. Or did you want to see my facial muscles? If that's the case, then I won't stop you. Hmm. Okay, I lied. I would stop you. So does that mean you're going to wear that mask forever? No. I'll take it off if I need to. The mask will come off if I apply the remover. There are certain kinds of glue that require a special chemical to remove. The bond may also deteriorate naturally over time. You must be really strong. You must be really strong. You seem pretty handy with a gun. So who are you? Don't try to find out. How could I not? You're one of the most suspicious people I've ever seen. You're on the list of suspects. That's a mistake. I'm not a suspect. We'll see. That's for me to decide. And one more thing. I'm not strong. Hmm? I don't have a strong body. Hmm? Uh, isn't that mask on upside down? It is, yes. Who is this girl anyway? Well, I guess we're not finding out to, uh, today. So, Kizuna. It's Kizzy. She's looking at the fountain with a serious expression. You've been off since lunch. I have? I'm the same as ever. No, something's been off about you since lunch today. Hmm. Does it have anything to do with why you were at Horadori Institute? Uh. Why were you at Horadori Institute? Horadori Institute is funded by my father. Yeah, we did we did go over that previously. You are aware of that fact, correct? We are. Yeah. I came to confirm something. I thought I could use my name to give me some authority. What did you want to know? Uh, uh, Not gonna tell me, huh? Uh, what were you doing there, big sis? I was beating up scientists! I'm looking for Shoma. I heard that he's been seen there a lot recently. Shoma? Well, he is definitely not there. Huh? How do you know? He contacted me on Nile on the way here. About Shoma. Shoma is in the mountains of Nagano. In the mountains? He's gone camping, alone. That doesn't sound like Shoma. That is what his Nile message said. He doesn't really seem to me to be the camping type. He sent that message to myself, Mame, and you as well. Unless maybe he built, like, robot helpers to help him out when camping. Oh, what? You're right. Hmm. Not checking our messages. He's coming back on his motorbike today. Shoma is 18 now, old enough to ride a motorcycle. You make it sound as though you're older, but you two are the same age. Iba, can you check if he's really camping? On it. Hmm, he's not lying. He has been at the campgrounds the last few days. He was spotted on surveillance cameras in various locations. For the past few days, huh? At the very least, that does provide him an alibi in the Jin Furaway case. Well, isn't that convenient? Hmm. But even then, it is still the most likely possibility that his robot carried the body. Yeah, he wouldn't have to be present for the robot to do it, would he? Do you think someone used Shoma's robot without his permission? Anyone could do it. The Enda house has no security. Anyone could get in or out. Hmm. I guess we don't need to look for Shoma anymore. Kizuna, what are you looking at? The fountain. Hmm. The park is one of my favorite places. 
I am certain that is why Leon brought me here so many times. For the past six years, whenever he saw that I looked bored, he would bring me here and try to make me laugh. He would trip into the fountain on purpose, sometimes even pretending to drown. And then I, f I felt so bad because I wasn't able to do anything because I'm in this chair, so I wouldn't be able to save him. Honestly, none of it was funny. But before I knew it, I fell in love with this park even more. That's enough for now. I'm going to get going. Fine, but don't get in my way again. I won't get in your way. I'll only do what I need to do. Maybe that includes shooting Mizuki with rubber bullets. You never know. You never know. Just, you go where the day takes you. Yeah, okay. Oh, and one more thing. Earlier when you... Thanks for saving me. Hmm. You don't need to thank me for that. And one more thing for me, too. If you plan on continuing your investigation, there are two important things to consider. First, whatever happens, don't lose sight of yourself. Even if someone you trust betrays you. And the other thing, Ryuki. Be wary of him. What? See you around. Wait! What do you mean by that? Oh, she ninja vanished. Jeez. Taking off right after dropping that bombshell? She is right in that Ryuki isn't quite himself right now, but... Wait, how does she even know about Ryuki? Hmm. Unknown. Kizuna, what were you looking for at Horidori Institute? Uh-uh. It's no good. She's not answering. Then we will have to ask her mind. Yeah, get in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's thinking about happy, happy Chikara. The experiment was a success. <laughs> What is this? It seems Kizuna knows something about the dark side of Horadori Institute. Mizuki, we have no choice. Yeah, we're, we're, we're thinking what we're thinking? Kizzy, I'm sorry, but will you let me into your dream? My dream? That's right. Just picked her up and carried her back to Abyss HQ. I think I get the picture. I haven't told Boss about what happened at Horidori Institute. Nor have I told her about my kicking the security guard. But... Kizuna Chieda. She seems to know something about Chikara. That's as much as I told her. I think it's something to do with the HB case. So... Okay then. Pewter? I'm ready to go. <sighs> Mizuki, I'm sure you already know, but the time limit inside Somnium is... How long is that time limit? Yep, I'll be back before then. Okay, let's get started. But how long's the time limit? Uh, no one has that power, Iba. I am the Eye Magician Girl, Iba. Feels like I'm watching anime. In the name of AI, I will punish you with flogging and flaying. Whoa, 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 that's way over the top. That's right, she's gonna skin him alive. What is 
this eye magician girl's special move? I punch your abdomen repeatedly. That sounds more like a fighting anime than a magical girl thing. Iva, is that...? It is similar to the Chikara we saw in the Wink Sink. The page turned. That picture book might have some info. Yes, we should inspect it. Somnium scan! Activate! Looks like we got a storybook-based Somnium this time. We need to find the mystery that Kizuna hid away. And we will do that. But we will first take a little break as we think about the information that we've learned, which honestly isn't all... isn't all that much. This, uh, this part was really mostly about... Uh, catching up with the cast of characters, finding out how they're doing six years later. Some of them are doing all right, like Oda and Iris seem like they're doing fine. They also don't really seem like they have much to do with the story. Uh, Kizuna, not doing that well, but maybe having something to do with the story. Maybe she, uh, knows something about Chikara that we need. And Ryuki is just... A absolutely terrible just doing horribly he needs a lot of help and no one's giving it to him um but we're not thinking about that right now what we're thinking about is what is contained in kizuna's mind why is she thinking about happy happy chikara what does she know about his dark research that's what we're gonna learn as we continue on with AI the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Mm -hmm. 